Hi, this is Rachel with Good Behavior Beginnings, and I wanted to make a short video for parents who may be really struggling with things right now. Um, I wanted to talk about the hierarchy of needs and how you are doing what you need to do. So let me just start by sharing my screen. This is Maslow's hierarchy of needs. And I thought this was a really good visual given the stress that we're under right now to really recognize what you need to be working on and what um, why you're not necessarily able to achieve some of the things that you were able to do. The pandemic, the stress with school, everything takes its toll. So if you look at the pyramid, the very bottom, the base, is those physiological needs. There's food, water, warmth, rest. If you're not getting enough sleep, if you're struggling to make sure that there's food on the table or that the heating bill is paid, or I know a lot of families are at risk of losing housing, that is a primary need and that is where your energy is going. Now, let's say you've got those covered. The next thing is those safety needs, feeling secure, feeling safe, feeling like there's some semblance of control. And that is something that I think a lot of us are very concerned with. This is on our mind a lot. Is it safe to do this? Can I take my kid to the dentist? What about when school reopens? You know, what are we going to do? How much should we go out? What should we uh, forego? How are we going to handle the holidays differently in order to maintain safety? Um, past that, the next stage is that belongingness and feeling of love. Um, this is, you know, having those relationships, having friends and uh, fan family being with others. And this is something that a lot of us are having to miss because of all of those safety concerns. We can't be with our families or we can't see our friends as much as we would like to, or we have to do it in different ways over the computer instead of um, face to face. So I wanna say that like personally, <laughs> we're still in those three, you know, we're bouncing around. We're trying to make sure that those three needs are met and we can't really focus on the other ones. The next one up is esteem needs. So that prestige, feeling of accomplishment, recognition from your peers. You know, that may not be something that you are able to focus on right now if you're still trying to get those other needs met. And then beyond that is that self-actualization, self-fulfillment. So achieving your full potential, including all of those creative activities. And I got to tell you, this is not where we are personally right now. And I don't think I'm the only one in this boat. Um, when I first started homeschooling this year, out of safety concerns, I watch YouTube and I'm like, oh my gosh, these people, they're doing so much and they're doing everything and it's all cutesy and it's wonderful and they've got everything together and mine's nothing like that. I can't get that creative. How do these people have time? Well, having somebody present this and looking back at this, I'm like, well, that's why I can't focus on any of that creative stuff and, you know, put in my super best effort maybe at work all the time because I am so concerned with safety and um, belongingness and, you know, some of those physiological needs. So I just want to put it out there for any other parents that are struggling with some of this, that you're not alone, that it doesn't have to be perfect and wonderful and Pinterest worthy. Um, if you're homeschooling, if you're doing Zoom school or online school or your kids are going or, you know, whatever it is, you want to focus on those basic needs. Start by making sure your kids' physiological needs are met. Make sure they're safe. 
show them that you love them and that they feel that love. And then you can start working on some of those other ones. But if you're not there yet, it's okay. This year has been rough. It looks like it's going to continue to be rough for a little while longer. And I just wanted to put this out there with the holidays coming up because that adds a whole other layer of stress oftentimes where there's this expectation to then have a, a wonderful um, holiday and everything's got to be perfect. And, you know, for us, it's, it's not going to be that this year. And I want you to know that it's okay if you're in the same spot. So thanks for listening. I hope this helps somebody feel a little bit better. If nothing else, it helped me feel better just to put it out there. Um, let me know how you guys are doing. Thanks.